Here's a, another little thing I built here using the push pin. Uh, one of these push pins as a uh, component of the pulse motor. And then I've got a nail down there at the bottom to hold that uh, steadier. And just a pair of, a uh, couple pair of uh, neodymium magnets using a solar driver. And just a tongue depressor setup. But I wanted to show this right here. This is this little driver unit, uh, super capacitor, charged up with a uh, AA battery. Let me take this off. And watch this. I thought this was kind of interesting, so I thought I'd post it. Watch this thing struggle to life. Uh, when I take this off here, and uh, I put this on here, I thought this was kind of interesting. This is going to start struggling now. Watch it shake around, because it's it's not really in balance, and there's a lot of things going on there. But watch this go into a resonance uh, or a harmonic. I don't know if you want to call it a harmonic or a resonance, but that gets up to a certain RPM, and then that thing just stabilizes right on out. And I thought that was really interesting how that. Uh, that setup there will go into a harmonic or a resonance and the camera frame rate is kind of capturing the RPMs as this speeds up let me speed it up a little bit more here if I can get it to do it here there it goes and that's totally stable now and I just thought that was really interesting. And this is this little uh, capacitor-driven uh, driver unit. Anyway, I thought that was really interesting. And it's just a, um, like I say, a very, very uh, simple, I'll stop it here. A very simple uh, little plastic jar using these neodymium magnets and a push pin through the lid and then on the bottom the frame is just um, this is me by the way I built this yesterday a nail on the bottom to support the uh, stability and the neodymium magnets on the top and then for the bearing it's just the tongue depressor with crazy glue and then I'm using a pencil lead graphite for the lubricant and uh, anyway, I thought that was kind of an interesting little build. The way this thing went into a harmonic and stabilized, and it just sits um, sits there like that. And then this little driver unit, after it's charged up, can make it go. Let's see if I can get it to go again here. And it goes. You see how that wobbles around? Now when that gets going. It really gets stable. It takes a while. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it to go here. There it goes. <clears throat> and this has just been charged up with this AA battery. That's just a uh, six farad uh, super capacitor. And, uh, 2.7 volt 6 farad supercapacitor but this thing can rev up to a certain point where it goes into a harmonic or a resonance and gets really stable there it goes Anyway, I just thought that was really interesting thoughts, so, so I thought I'd share that with them guys that work on these little pulse motors, uh, Magnet Man 2010, and then Slider and some of the other guys, and then Tensa Koala, because he uh, he's the one that turned me on to using these tongue depressors. And then that is then that stable resonance again. See how the magnet's not even moving, and the frame rate of the camera is capturing this. Now, I don't know what the RPM on this thing is, but the frame rate of the ca camera is capturing that harmonic resonance. Thanks for watching.